Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So this is my mail call video number three for August 2024. Thank you all for the wonderful mail. Oh, so, oh, so, oh, so excited. So today is Sunday. Hank had his first um, football games. I, but the, he, he reminds me, they were scrimmages pre-games two of them yesterday in the pouring down rain <laughs> didn't seem to bother him a bit um and I got to tell you so afterwards <clears throat> he uh made a point to come up to me and he says Monty I'm ready for that meat mountain and I said oh Hank honey they, they probably don't even have that that's not a real thing he said Monty it's a real thing and if you guys don't know what a meat mountain is it's at Arby's. It's a real thing. It is every type of meat they have. The sandwich is about yay big, this thick. Kid could not finish it. Not only did he get one, my husband got one as well. <laughs> my husband took them. My daughter and I uh, <clears throat> went to buy Mark because I had to return the gloves I purchased mm. for football season. Uh, they were ripping. Uh, anyways, so yeah. My husband's like, I'll take him. And you got to realize. So, I know I have mail to show you guys. But this meat mount thing, he saw it on, of course, YouTube. And he worked for it almost a complete year ago. And I, he kept telling me, you know, Manji, what can I do? I want to I wanna meat mount. And, of course, I'm going to tell him because I didn't think it was a real thing, guys. I just didn't think it was a real thing. And we never, I never take him to Arby's. There's not one in Belfair. And it's like, I never really go to Port Orchard all the way to Arby's on purpose. It's it's just not in our, in our thing. And anyways, <coughs> he got his meat mountain yesterday. Yes, it's over and done with. Will I ever do that again? No, I'm never telling him <laughs> that because it was a, a, but it's done. It's over with. He has his meat mountain. He was very happy. He finished off the rest of it today. So, uh, mail call. But first, before mail call, let me show you something really cool. Look how cute this little, um, says $5. I paid a buck fifty for it at the thrift shop, and I can't wait to figure out something to do with it. I love showing you little finds that I find. And then my daughter, you know, redoing her room. So she had this. She doesn't drink wine anymore, but Back during COVID, she drank wine. It says, wine a little, laugh a lot. This little wooden sign. And guys, I, this will suit my, uh, oh my goodness, you can't hardly see it. It has, it is, where's the ruler? And I move things around again. So it is, oh, it's roughly 12 by 12. And it does have a little slits here, but I think I can do something really cutesy for Christmas with this. I really do. I mean, if I wanted to, I could probably sand that down. But I think just strips of paper is going to cover it. So I rescued this from the um, giveaway bin of hers. And yesterday, while I was gone to the game, Paper Pumpkin arrived. So I'll be digging into that. But first, I have to finish the 50 cards that are going out to the mailing list, guys. So what do I have? Well, first of all, the wonderful Miss Lori from Bellevue. She saw me in a video telling you guys that I really wanted this stamp set, um, this bundle to make my hubby a birthday card. And his birthday is September 20th. And uh, she made me cry because <clears throat> she ordered this from me and had it sent to me and it arrived. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. So um, I think that I am going to do October's videos on this set. I can do Christmas cards with this. I can do Thanksgiving cards with this set, guys. I can do a lot with this set. And you don't necessarily, I mean, there is so much in this set. So get ready. Mm hmm. Get ready. And then <coughs> I'm mailing this to Lori because she paid for it. But I'm going to use it. I'm going to get some love out of it. So next, let me show you the beautiful cards I received. So um, first of all, um, let me make sure this is from, <clears throat> I want to make sure I get your, your name right. So Carol Reed Sanquinetti, please. I hope I got your name right. 
This is absolutely beautiful. It says, bless you. It has a lighthouse. She put a note inside and she says, I may pass this along. And yes, I will. This will be one of those that goes into uh, the boxes of cards. And honey, I will pass this along. And I want you to know this is very, very beachy perfection. Thank you so much. I love the lighthouse. <coughs> You may not know, but I have a thing with lighthouses. Um, and in fact, I have a uh, stained glass lighthouse nightlight that uh, my mother got right after my brother passed. And uh, she kept it lit every night. It never goes out. And um, in her little handwritten thing, she left it to me because she says that... Um, because I know that she will always leave the light on. <clears throat> and my daughter would go into my bathroom and she would unplug it and use the hair dryer. And I told her, I said, baby, you better plug that thing back in because my mom, a spirit be telling me, uh, you better plug that light back in. Well, guys, three nights ago, uh, I thought the light bulb went out in this, um, uh, I mean, it stands like this tall. It, it It's almost 12 inches tall. It's beautiful. It's blue and white. And then I found a red and white one similar to it. And I bought her that one, a red and white one to go with it. So she had a blue and white one and a red and white one. And I bought me a red and white one too. <clears throat> and um, so I was replacing the light bulb. And I went to flip this little switch on the cord. And the cord went spark blew the circuit breaker my husband was like what are you doing I was like I don't know and I'm like I think my lighthouse is something's wrong he's like what did you do I said I replaced the light bulb <clears throat> and thank goodness my husband is an electrician because he's like okay babe he's like you know you know those um Christmas villages that have those little prongs, you know, that go in there. He's like, baby, when you get your Christmas stuff out, all you got to do is take one of those Christmas lights. You have extra and it's got those little prongs. You just stick a new one up in there. He's like, or I'll get you a new one. I can rewire this. This is not, not a problem. So I took the red and white one and I plugged it in. So I have the night light still in, but it's in my bathroom. So thank you, Carol. I know that's like, not, you guys may not hear the story, but... I have a lighthouse lit in my bathroom. <clears throat> my mom's up there in heaven and she's happy. So Miss Tammy, honey, thank you so much. I know you and your husband are having a hard time right now. And I really hope that he is doing well. I think of you often, babe. I really do. Um, this is very, very beautiful. And look, at she sent me all these wonderful stamps. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> I love this friend how it's die cut. That that is so cool. Oh, so cool. So thank you, Tammy. Now, Miss Kathy, honey, Miss Kathy. I have to tell you that this came, but it was open and there was no card. And Kathy will know which one you are. So I'm hoping that maybe my mail lady will bring me the card. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to take this to her and ask her. I'm going to ask her about that tomorrow. So I have one more card. This is beautiful. Now, this is from Miss Rosalie Young. And um, Rosalie, my heart breaks for your daughter. Um, her daughter's hubby just passed away, which is, um, <clears throat> you know, it's hard to tell people that... Um, Sometimes you don't know what to say, but I want to tell people that when you are grieving, don't hide your grief. Let the world see it. Let the world know that you are grieving. Um, because when you are grieving, it just shows that you were loved and that you loved somebody that much, that you are still hurting. Um, because when you try, you don't try to keep it bottled up let it out let it be shown to the world nobody should try to hide their grief ever um, express it in all manners of way and if people are uncomfortable with that that's on them that's not on you um, nobody should should try to hide their grief and share your grief it helps to release it it helps you heal um, so anyways this is absolutely beautiful um <clears throat> This is from my birthday, <laughs> my birthday live. 
event. So thank you very much. Thank you, Rosalie, very, very much. Okay, so, and then I got a wonderful package from Miss Phyllis. You ready for the goodies? Yes, my Aunt Carol's here. She's waiting for her, for her goodies to go home with, right? No, she's here having dinner. So, <clears throat> oh, this stuck to this. And Phyllis, my Aunt Carol says, hi, and thank you. So look at these cute, these remind me of little postage stamps. My junk journaling. I'm not finished with my book. I keep thinking I'm there yet, but football season is upon me. So I'm writing stuff down in, in a little notebook, things I want to write down. So, oh, they're all mixed up. Okay, they're all messed up. Okay, so I have this gorgeous forest set, which I see Christmas all over this. Christmas, 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 Christmas. There are dies that match all these. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, the gorgeous roses, that, and then all the paper to go with them. And my Aunt Carol says, like, dibs, dibs, dibs. So Aunt Carol, yes, is going home with those. And this is right up Aunt Carol's, the grocery cart, yes. And I said, well, we'll have to do something together. The birthday, the soda pop just for you. Always shopping is a good idea. <laughs> and my husband would say, no, it's not. <laughs> this is um lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you. And my Carol is so happy with this one because I have this stamp set. Oh, do you remember this one floating by to say hi? Oh, oh, oh the lazy days of summer beach. Oh, friends back to our street. Thanks. Welcome. It's always a good day. Absolutely fabulous. The hearts. Oh, I love hellos. Look, hello. Hello. In their circles. And I have, I bet that punches. Hold on. I bet that is a one inch circle punch. Hold on. That's a three quarter inch. That might be a three quarter inch. I gotta punch a circle here for a minute. I just want to see. Can you tell? Because I think it would be really cute to do that hello down a bookmark. It's a three quarter inch. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in here because I know then <clears throat> what size that is. That's just for me. My reference uh, for dinner cooking. I'm making um, chicken stir fry. So I'm hoping <laughs> it comes out. Oops. Paper go. Oh, look what my aunt brought me. Oh, all my blending brushes, me cleaning them, and my itty bitty little green one, right? My aunt Carol's like, honey, I got blending brushes. I'm bringing you blending brushes. <laughs> So my Aunt Carol brought me blending brushes. <laughs> oh, gotta love her. Gotta love her. Oh, the dies for the trees, right? Oh, and look at these guys. You got to see these. Hold on. I gotta open these up. Because these are gonna make the most beautiful tags for Christmas. Hold on. Look at these dies. Look. Look at this. Isn't that going to make a lovely tag? You could do it this way, right? But I see tags for Christmas. This, of course, layers up inside. But look at this huge one. And this will layer up inside. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I was like, where is the... No, 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 no. Where is... I don't have it right the moment. But here, look. You could do something, Merry Christmas, North Pole Delivery. You could turn it sideways. Oh, so cute. Merry Christmas. You could do one of these little trees, perfectly plaid. This is a set. This has that little punch. I will never get rid of this set, guys. This is a keeper for life. Oh, so many cute little bits. So many cute little, little bits. Oh, little holly berries mistletoe you guys i gotta tell you a cute little story <clears throat> so last year hank and i were in the thrift store i love that my grandson is not afraid to go into a thrift store because some kids you know they don't want to go in there but my little hank doesn't mind um so anyways we're in the thrift store and we see this little um plastic 
it's not a ball. It's just little plastic, little mistletoe, you know, fanned out like this. And he said, Manji, Manji. And I said, yeah. And it's like a buck fifty. He's like, we need some mistletoe. And I said, baby, we can't have mistletoe. It's poisonous to dogs and animals. He's like, no, this is plastic mistletoe. We can hang this up. And he's like, and then Papa's got to kiss you under the mistletoe. <laughs> and I have um, little hooks, you know, as you walk through the living room over to the dining room. And I said, really, Hank? And he's like, yeah, we got to get the mistletoe. And I said, okay, baby, we'll get the mistletoe. And we do. We hang the mistletoe up <clears throat> and, and he made Papa kiss me under the mistletoe. It was really, really cute. Really, really cute. Absolutely loved it. So yes. And you guys, I will not change that mistletoe out for anything because it has a special meaning from my little Hank. Yes, my little pla plastic <clears throat> cheesy little cute mistletoe. Anyways, I see these four Christmas tags with little berries. Oh, just cute, cute, cute stuff. Thank you, Phyllis. Thank you for thinking of me and my Aunt Carol, honey. Just absolutely wonderful. Her and I need to spend some time in making some, um, <clears throat> Christmas tags for Christmas. I mean, right now we're busy with football, but... Oh. Okay. That's them outside. Uh, your stuff is ready. <laughs> Alright. And then she got me this set. Little nativity set. So, that's it for now, everybody. I'm going to go back to cooking dinner. And uh, thank you all for watching. And please come back and visit me in my Wonderland. Bye-bye for now, everybody.